Ah, uh, you're already up there. I'm just uh, do, 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 about to grab do, the do, do. delicious gold pine resin. I really think um, the Taurus and the Asylum Demon music kind of embodies that f frantic sense of panic that a new player has when you're confronted with these creatures. You're like, what? What? What do I do? What? What? Oh. Yeah, I remember the first time I played this and ran into the room of Asylum Demon before I knew that the door opens on the other side. Uh. <laughs> I got squished really quickly. And then I was like, oh, this is bullshit! Oh! Hate this game! Yeah, there are one or two bullshit moments. I, I think the whole Capra thing is a minor one, just because you're quite likely to get stuck in that doorway the first time you walk in. If you walk in there, stand still with your shield up, trying to decode the situation before you do anything, <laughs> like I usually do, you'll just get penned by the dogs and then he'll murder you. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it is slightly more complicated to figure out how much health this guy has with the UI bugging out. That just makes it more <laughs> exciting. That hardcore no HUD run. Yeah, you could do that, but what's the bloody point? Because you'd have no idea how much health you have any time. And I'm not sure you'd know what was equipped. Well, uh, uh, in terms of items, no. You could see what weapons you had, but... Otherwise, I would quite like the sound of that. If there was actually a visual way to tell how much damage you were taking, that might have been an interesting challenge. You know. I'm all, I always like, when you're trying to replay a game, trying to think of some way... The most boring way to make a game more difficult is to just give everyone more health and you take more damage. That's the boring Call of Duty way. Yeah. If you can make it more interesting with some sort of dynamic weird challenge... Like, I'm sure Halo puts more and tougher enemies into locations if you turn the difficulty up. You know, just a basic example, not even the mm. best one. Well, Taurus no died. I haven't played Halo in so long. Ah, uh, never have I. Yeah, I killed Taurus easier than I sometimes do with other characters. <laughs> he, I'm uh, not I'm sure he hurt me. I'm just heading into the boss room for that now. Ah. Uh, oh god, we can start co oping after that, yeah. Yes. I, um, Cooping. Sorry, I, I, I took a bit of time to attempt to detour around uh, to the Black Knight and get the blue um, stone ring, but... The freaking worthless ring. <laughs> yeah. It's more of a matter of pride than anything. Exactly. I, I, if I could outrun the Black Knight, um, then I could, but it. I got there, he started aggroing on me, at which point I ran away like a sissy girl. I think one of the biggest compliments I can give to Dark Souls is you can, you know, if you're trying to power game it, you don't have to cripple yourself in any real way to make the game. You know, you feel like you need to give it your all in order to overcome the challenge, you know? Mm. Whereas, like I was talking about with Skyrim, you pretty much have to stop yourself spamming potions. Otherwise, yeah, it becomes laughable. You know, as soon as you figure that out, which as is soon a problem. As you've got a hotkey on a potion, you're screwed. What baffles me is, like, why have they never fixed that in all their games? All these Bethesda things. I know they're not done by exactly the same people, but you'd think there's a lot of just kind of framework crossover just in how they're set up. You'd think it's such a recurring problem. Like in Fallout 3, stim packs weighed nothing and you could find tons of them. Yeah. I quite liked the uh, change in is it New Vegas where you need if you can turn on an option to need doctor's bags in order uh, to heal. Was, the hardcore mode in New Vegas was actually pretty good. I liked it. It didn't go far enough in some ways, just because there's still uh, yeah, plenty I totally of money. Agree with that. That's, that was the thing. I, I do I do find it hard to remember which was like vanilla and which is modded with New Vegas because <laughs> I'm like, was that a mod? I don't know. Hmm. Anyway. Um, you're probably fighting the Taurus right now. I am. When he's done trying to shove his club up my ass, then I will um, be with you. Yep. And he's down. Oh, mm. look at us. Look at us <laughs> one broing. One sis. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not exactly sure that it now is the time to be patting ourselves on the back, though. This <laughs> you is... beat, like, one of the easiest bosses. <laughs> exactly. It is fairly early on. Yeah, I'm more scared of the Red Drake than the Taurus Demon. Ah, uh, that might be a problem. Hmm. The bridge run. Yeah, he, he can be a bit, like, finicky in how you deal with him. Uh... Let's, uh, I'm just going to talk to my friend, Solaire. 
who I'm not going to murder. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> I could always go find him later if I decide to murder him. See, it's almost worth it for the armour. I've just realised we need to get to a bonfire in order to humanify and summon each other anyway, so my standing around here is completely pointless. If any viewers were shouting at your screen, I'm sorry. <laughs> I like the simplicity of that message that just said "fire ahead." <laughs> yep. It's strange because there's even an option for the word bonfire. Yeah. Okay. Let's make this run across the bridge then. I'm always impressed that I still f see new. I still see new messages that are like dirty or something. All this time later. Amazing chest ahead. Yeah, yeah. We've had all those, but I was actually quite proud of. Um, I stood in front of Guinevere and I put try plunging attack. <laughs> I was quite proud of that. <laughs> Came up with that myself. But uh, uh childish innuendo. It's just It's just the the amount of innuendo you can do with all these phrases is amazing. Hmm. Yep. Well, I actually I did the little ladder shortcut down to the bonfire and I narrowly avoided leveling up again. The drinking game, every time I almost level up and completely <laughs> invalidate the whole playthrough. It'll get uh, easier, it'll get easier. The thing I would do, I'm not sure if you're doing this, is I'm just crushed one of my uh, hard humanities and I'm going to kindle this bonfire. Ah, that's probably a very good precaution. Um, now I'm human after all. Right, oh yes, um, uh, I've got two of them. Surprised I haven't got any soft humanities. I suppose I just haven't killed very many people. Oh, something you have to be very careful with is if you're playing on the PC version and you um, sit at a bonfire and reverse hollowing. Yes. It's probably gonna get you stuck at the bonfire if you do it too quickly. So make sure okay. you're careful with that. Okay. Right. Uh, uh, nothing's happened. <laughs> But you, you were saying that exactly as I was just flicking through the options, <laughs> so I was like, oh. Uh, you know, it is it is a shame, the PC poor. I really think they should go back and fix it up. I mean, I'm in two minds against about this, because on the one hand, sure, it's not a good port, but on the other hand, it was never meant to come to PC, and they pretty much just caved to popular demand. So mm. it's not like, you know... It's not like they were planning one from the beginning and still cocked it up. Very they, true. they they did it like we don't know what we're doing, but you want a PC port, so we'll do our best. Anyway, I'm a but you know if you go up that ladder and there's just a room above the bonfire room. Yes. I'm there, and that's a summonable room. Okay. Well, I will just I'm just clearing out these guys on the bridge because the guy with the spear that stands on a tiny ledge really irritates me every time so I want to get him out of the way before I summon anyone. Oh, I know what you mean. Yeah, how we go in the uh, rat route? Uh, well, yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, the only real reason to go the other way is just to get that bonfire. So what's the deal? Am I summoning you? Are you summoning me? Uh, I suppose it doesn't matter either way and really debatably we might need to do certain areas twice. That's That's very true. Okay, I'll put my sign down near the stairs, and now everyone can see how Dark Souls co-op works. Yeah, hopefully it works. Steam, yeah, Steam, Steam beta. Crossed. We're both in the Steam beta, so... Uh, oh! There you are! Wow, okay. Good first impression. Success. Oh, you're about to see my character. Prepare for just glory. While you noisily eat things. I'm sorry. I have you! Been... I still cannot bloody find milk chews. This is my personal <laughs> challenge. Like a year ago, you mentioned milk chews, and I've been trying to find them ever since. Oh god, you're hideous. <laughs> That's no way to talk to a lady. <laughs> uh. mm. So, milk chews. Um, any corner shop. I, look, I looked in my corner shop. I should find another corner shop. <laughs> a better corner shop with blackjack and hookers. I said I will post you some. It's not the same. It's a personal challenge now. Anyway, we need to run ahead. Oh, God, at Firelink, I didn't get the best gesture. The shrug. Oh. Mm. I need to go back and get that.
Actually, I think you'll find the best gesture is well. What is it? Debatable. Debatable. There's something. There's something about the just meh of the shrug that gets me. Come on. Oh god, I hate it. C come on. I'll just wait here. <laughs> I forgot I had this. <laughs> I also forgot I had this when I was desperately like uh, trying to hit the guy off. That's the other thing, really, to pool souls into is upgrading pyromancy, isn't it? Uh, yeah, you oh. need to get the uh, the dude first. I know, but uh, I've just been thinking I'm gonna have so many souls that I have so real little use for, than just buying tons of fire bombs. I don't know what to do with them. Um, something I would recommend doing. I'm not sure if you've joined the uh, uh, the 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 Quaylag Covenant. I can't remember what it's called. Um, but chaos the chaos servants. Chaos servants, that's the one. You get the great chaos fireball from that. And oh that yeah, ridiculously overpowered pyromancy. So <laughs> okay, I'd forgotten about that. That was a whole pyromancy covenant. Yeah, that's a good point. Ah, this is familiar territory. Onwards. I always sprint to the right. Yeah, I just I dive in this alcove and murder this this bugger. The hand axe is... oh god, oh, you, I think you aggroed the boar. <laughs> the hand axe is serving me quite well, don't know about you. Uh, yeah, I'm using the reinforced club, just to mix it oh. up. I was using the hand axe for a bit, I just literally changed before you summoned me, so... Well, the you nearly no, yeah. got me stabbed in the back by a spear guy then, so oh. I appreciate you for telling me you were being followed. Oh, sorry, I don't <laughs> think I realised I was being followed. There you go, I cut his spine open for you. Are you happy now? Yes, thank you very much. Is this my... Um, I just yeah. got a tiny bit of lag, which could be a worrying sign of invasion. Oh. <laughs> well, we knew this was going to happen sometime. <laughs> um, alluring skull. Throw one in the fire and it will kill the dude. Oh yeah, I don't think I've ever actually bothered using these. I'm not sure how they... Uh... You're going to have to start using them. Oh, the... that oh, was not good. Well, that could have gone oh, a lot better. Oh, no, 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 I'm, I'm diving down the hole. <laughs> Diving down the hole. Yeah, he can chase you a surprising distance down these stairs, I find, so... Oh, oh ding dong. Did you just hear a doorbell? Not doorbell, a uh, bell tower. I did. It makes oh. me happy that that is a feature. I know, it's such a small touch, but it's so encouraging, isn't it? <laughs> just, there is hope, light and, at the end of this tunnel. And it's law friendly. It is. Well, everything's law friendly because uh, time and space is kind of loose as Lord Ran. Any time anything weird happens, oh, time and space is convoluted. Don't worry. I I do. You mentioned it in another video, actually. I think, or you, we might have just been talking one day, but you mentioned that um, you uh, you really liked the fact that when you get to Firelink, the guy's just like, oh, oh <laughs> yeah. There's another one. <laughs> Meat grinders over there, bitch. <laughs> oh, it's so true, so true. Just, oh god, oh, you know the you could the little intro does somewhat set you up as a chosen one, but then uh, oh, I I tend to forget about this over here. Hello. So a small thing that annoyed me in DS2, actually, I can't believe I just said that out loud, Dark Souls 2, <laughs> is um, that they some gestures, they take away the weapons when you do the gestures, so it's not quite as funny. Uh, <laughs> You're not just waving a giant is, spear. Yeah, exactly. Holding a halberd or a great scythe and doing I'd the just be like, hello! <laughs> <laughs> it's weird, because otherwise I like a lot of the gestures in Dark Souls 2, but... Uh, Dark Souls 2, you know, if it wasn't the fact that the other games existed, I would probably love it a bit. <laughs> you know, if it had been the first of its kind. It's wow, just... he's getting ping-ponged so hard right now. <laughs> <laughs> really, this is somewhere I should have used Pyromancy. Oh, yeah, I think that was a lag moment for me, because he seemed to just be standing in the corner while you punched him, and he wasn't <laughs> reacting in uh, any way. No, he was also standing in the corner for me, so... Oh, who knows then. Uh, God, it took me like 20 minutes to make my character blue, by the way. Mm. I can never remember how you do it, and then I was like, oh, that's close enough. 
Do I want this shield? Not really. Uh. Sliders, sliders everywhere. Yes. <laughs> I keep forgetting about pyromancy. It's it's amazing. You're doing well there. Oh, you haven't played Demon Souls, have you? I haven't. No. Mm. You've got a PS3, haven't you? Mm-hmm. Well, no excuse then. Oh, back. This is a problem in co-op, the whole, oh god, get back! <laughs> <laughs> in narrow, narrow areas. Uh, pyromancy, pyromancy. <laughs> oh, that didn't kill you, that's surprising. I suppose your shield must have killed it. Yeah, the bolder knight is alive, so just be aware. Oh, now he isn't. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> um, artillery support. Oh, I'm being brought tea. Uh, thank you, kind sir. Hmm. Hmm. Good service here in the uh, Trizon studio, and they just bring you tea. <laughs> um, I think we should probably go this way. Open the shortcut, yes. Yes. Uh, hopefully not get rammed by the... The giant ball that we skipped. Yeah, um, let's be let's be a bit wary of this boulder that's heading our way. This isn't a supremely lazy video, and I love it. I don't care. <laughs> okay, you know, I'm not I'm not like constantly stressing about trying to say something interesting every five seconds. Uh, it was more the fact that we just both ran around him, deciding who was going to go for the backstab. Oh right, yeah. <laughs> Backstab, slightly OP. <laughs> slightly, you say. It's any enemy that you can't backstab. Yeah, they they did something weird in Dark Souls 2 with that. Is he not dead? Oh no, he's just lagging. There we go. <laughs> they did something weird in Dark Souls 2 with the backstab. It's kind of like a back attack where everyone kind of teleports into place and. Ah, uh, yeah, that. I don't know, that's a nitpick, definitely, but it doesn't have quite the same just. You know, kind of satisfaction <laughs> of the backstab. Parry system as well. I wouldn't know about parrying because I'm too much of a noob to bother well, parrying. Uh, if you've ever parried on this, you'll know you can get in a hit almost straight away. Yeah. Right. Uh, I'll try and I'll try and demonstrate. <laughs> yeah, I'll kill one of them for you. To but make it... um. Oh God, he's healing, healing. <sighs> um, but in Dark Souls 2, you have to wait for them to hit the ground before you can actually... Oh, gosh. Oh, yeah. Okay, be careful of the archer. Careful of the archer. Get a, get around the corner. Jesus Christ. Oh, God. Also, remind me, I have to heal you. I never uh, remember that. <laughs> yeah, that is a thing that they did, I would say, fix in DS2. So. Yeah. I'd, that, uh, the, I, I'm inclined to say that's probably an improvement in DS2 because if you, you, know, if you want to just do a... a proper co-op experience. You don't want one person to be like babysitting the other one. Now, interesting oh. issue that we're going to have here. Um, either I de-summon, you go grab that bonfire, and then I come back and meet you, or we try and do gargoyles. <laughs> well, what we go? No, we can, can't even open the shortcuts, can we? <laughs> no. Yeah, I'd kind of like to get the bonfire, and I don't know. I, I, I could go back and help you through your place if you like. I might be okay. I'll give it a go while you're doing that. If, if I'm you're sure willing, you're going to want to talk to the blacksmith and do some upgrading anyway. And be driven slowly mad by ting, ting, ting. <laughs> ting. I can't tell you how often I just mute the damn game. What did you um, call oh. your character? Oh, oh well, I was about to say it'll be a surprise, but you can't actually see it, can you? <laughs> I I spent so long trying to come up with this, and I eventually one sis, because it's like one bro, but she's a girl. I've got one bro, one vision. <laughs> I love that we were both trying to do something one bro related. It's good. Uh, I'm just going to go with one of the default faces, even though they look like terrifying caricatures of humans. You say that, mine looked halfway normal and then I turned it into a terrifying caricature. <laughs> I think this is by far the best looking person I've ever made. <laughs> 